Hey, Rufus wants a dog really badly. After all, his best friend has one. His worst enemy has one. In fact, it seems like everyone in the world has a dog except Rufus. And this is because of his dad. You see, Rufus's dad doesn't want a dog in the house. He thinks they're a pain. He thinks that they bark too much, they scratch up the furniture, they beg for food at the table, and worst of all, they drool over everything in the house. One day, however, Rufus's mom has a bit of a softer decision. She decides maybe it is time for the family to get a dog. Well, not a dog, really, a pet. In fact, she brings home a pet, but it's not a dog, and it's not a cat. She brings home instead a guinea pig. But this isn't just an ordinary guinea pig. This is a guinea pig which apparently thinks it's a dog. It acts like a dog. It barks like a dog. It even eats Rufus's homework like a dog might do. In fact, everyone kind of wonders about this guinea pig at first, and they think about taking it back to the pet store where it came from. But then Rufus has an idea. He says, wait a second. If this guinea pig thinks it's a dog and acts like a dog, maybe I could train it like a dog. It would be the next best thing to actually having a dog. Rufus, in fact, decides to call it his guinea dog. Guinea dog by Patrick Jennings.